and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first Theros Beyond Death standard deck. We're taking an old favorite, Ayara's Citadel, and updating it mostly because of new Theros Beyond Death Gray Merchant of Asphodel. I'm sure a lot of people are playing Gray Merchant decks right away. We're all pretty excited of having this reprint back, even though the old art was definitely better than this art. So that's unfortunate. But anyway, yeah, so a five mana 2 4. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life, where X is your devotion to black, and then you gain life equal to the life lost this way. So we, so basically, uh, if you don't know devotion, um, I guess it's my, my screen's kind of covering that up. If you don't know the devotion mechanic, because that's a new mechanic to standard, um, if you did not play in the old uh, Theros. <clears throat> sets basically you look at the top right hand corner and look at the black mana symbols see how gray merchant has two black mana symbols so it has two devotion to black shepherd has two it has two devotion to black ayara has three midnight reaper has one and so on and so basically everything in play not not in your hand or graveyard or anything like that but just all of the symbols in play you just count them up and they lose that much life you gain that much life so, of course, that works awesome with Bola Citadel because Citadel has three um, devotion already. If you play Gray Merchant off the top of your library with Citadel, it costs five life because, you know, Citadel costs five. But whenever Gray Merchant enters, even if you have nothing else in play besides just Citadel and Gray Merchant, they will lose five. You gain five. So it's, you know, turns into turns into being a free card and it can just uh, grow a lot with that. Our other new card that we're playing, this card I'm really excited about. Nightmare Shepherd. Uh, whenever another non-token you control dies, you may exile it from your graveyard. And if you do, you create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a 1-1 one, one and a Nightmare. So basically, if you have Nightmare Shepherd in play and then they kill like your Midnight Reaper, um, you know, it dies, but then you can exile it and then you can put a new 1-1 one, one Midnight Reaper into play. And uh, same thing with a Yara. And, you know, like we have like a bunch of good ETB cards that that's awesome. We're not doing that with our Cauldron Familiar. We don't want to exile that. But, you know, we got our Cauldron Familiar Witches Oven to drain them. Ayara drains them. Gray Merchant drains them. And then also Citadel's Activation can drain them. So we're going to be try We're going to be winning a lot of games without doing too much attacking, probably. But we also have this 4-4 Flyer in the air. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get to the games. Let's play our first Theros Standard. Let's see how it goes. Uh, we're just Let's just go right over to Ranked. Traditional Standard Ranked. Right away. Let's play some, some. Uh, let's play some matches, and that's that's correct. You have a good call, Kalua King. So yeah, the copies of the cards that we bring in will have the same uh, converted mana cost in the top right hand corner as the other, um, as like the card that it's it's copying. So it still stays out there for Gray Merchant. Oh man, I want to keep a one lander. I want to keep a one lander. I maybe should, honestly. Yeah, that hand was pretty crazy. I just had one more land. All right, so we got a new owl. Doesn't look like the owl changes colors. Or does it? Oh, it does. Okay, there we go. We need our Black Owl. Yeah, Fabled to shuffle for Citadel and also to thin the deck. That's both of those. Oh, thanks, Psych Psychotropic. Glad you enjoy the, the videos. <laughs> Aw, such a cute owl. So not a good start for us with them having Edgewall Innkeeper. The card's pretty good. So 
This will be a good matchup for all of the Legion's ends in our sideboard. Fable Passage makes our Citadels better in multiple ways. One, it's it's really good to have a shuffle effect whenever you have Citadel in play. And you can have a Fable Passage to shuffle your library. But then two, also just thinning the deck of lands whenever you have a card like Citadel that you can just play stuff for free as long as, you know, you know for, for free. You know, you're using your life total. But, you know, you kind of stop whenever you have land. So at that point, you want to have less lands in, in your deck whenever you're playing Citadel also. So it's just, just really easy just to play some Fable Passages. Um, I don't know, what, what does the card do, Ascoria? I don't, I don't know what that card does. Pack opening went really, really well. We opened up a lot of mythics. Okay. We have to try to stay alive. Um, so yeah, one three and then pay one, sack a creature, each opponent loses a life, gain a life. That's not really what I'm interested in in, in this deck. I think you could, you know, have a a different deck for it where you have a lot more creatures that you want to sacrifice um this deck doesn't really have creatures that i want to sacrifice except for cauldron familiar that's only really for uh with with witches oven you don't really want to sacrifice that normal anyway Take nine, go to sit or Oh right, that thing's attacking too. <clears throat> well, we're gonna have to get pretty pretty lucky here. Hmm. Nope. Kinda wish I would have just kept the first hand. All right, bring in all these Legion's Ends and Noxious Grasps. I don't know if we really need Eat to Extinction. I'm going to take out Order of Midnight. And, man, we got a lot of, got a lot of stuff we're going to have to take out. Could just... Hmm... Take out another five cards. Could just take out Fen Lurkers, I guess. Yeah, Oven. Um, oven, Cauldron Familiar, like a little bit of that package. If we just kind of trim around the edges, what if we go three, 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 three? We just kind of take out one of each of these. Why does Reaper have to go? I mean, that Reaper's a good card.
Uh, Deckmaster. I did not start Deckmaster. Thank you for reminding me. Fable Passage increases the power of Citadel, and it's free to play it. All right, draw some lands. There we go. Oh, maybe I didn't. Is that a green owl? Where's the black owl? That's red. Is this the black owl? Or is it supposed to be the green owl? I guess it's green and black. All right, relatively free. <laughs> I guess it may cost me right after I said that. Almost free. What's up, Papa Croft? Thanks for that resub. We want to wait till after we have um, Midnight Reaper in play. It'd be nice if they just didn't have that card for one of these games. That Troll Innkeeper. Uh, yeah, sure. Masker Girl would be awesome in this kind of matchup. Um, I could, we could have like a Masker Girl or two in the in the sideboard. I'm I'm not one that's ever been that big of a fan of Masker Girl in this kind of deck, to be honest. But yeah, I will admit that against Green White Proliferate, Masker Girl would be fantastic. And that, so I was really thinking, oh man, I'm going to be playing against Green White Proliferate. What can I do to beat that? Yeah, we, we definitely want Masker Girl. Um, it's like they play Lovestruck Beast. This thing's a 4-4. Four, four. They, attack, they attack out. Like, how am I blocking... If I play Midnight Reaper, just go block, block, take four, five, six, seven, down to ten, and they still have a four, four. I guess we're casting Murderous Rider. All right, Guru, have a good night. I would rather play like Midnight Reaper first, but I think this is just my best way to use my mana is to play Grave Merchant and then next turn I have Reaper plus Rider.
I hope they draw lands also. They didn't play a land last turn, so they're not really playing a land right now. So I guess maybe they just have a bunch of spells in hand. We can stop drawing lands though. It's our eighth land. I'm good. Don't need any more. Hmm. So we'll see how they block. Okay, let's do... Do two. So if I activate, I have four mana. Should I activate twice. See, so, like we're pretty close to killing our opponent, you know, like with another great merchant. Grey Merchant draining is is real. <laughs> yeah, you can see right now we have six devotion. We we did just have seven. I just lost one with that attack, but I wanted to draw more cards. But still, fourteen cards, nine lands right now. Not great. Let's have one man cold with the new with the new set hype. Thank you so much there for a reseven. So my opponent hasn't had a very good hand, and so I'll, I'll kind of feel bad if we lose to this, because this has not been a very good hand for them. That's a great card, though, of course. Okay. Speaking of great cards. Um, so as far as I know, street, uh, Deckmaster is up. Yeah, this song is... Fickle Game by Amber Run. But Deckmaster should be up. Oh, right. I was feeling really good about this until I forgot that's an enchantment creature and Night of Autumn destroys it. <laughs> Did not think of that. Well, that plus Raptor, that's really rough. Because basically their their attacks are going to be really bad because we could just we could just block with like everything, bring it all back, Gray Merchant trigger again.
Yeah, Night of Autumn. Night of Autumn does look really good with this set. Very true. I have to just jump block out. That was a great turn for them. I don't really know how, how I can possibly win this, to be honest. We're gonna have to hit. I don't know what. Yeah. Alright, so you know, new, new cards still learning and everything. Still learning. Happens basically every single new ascent. All right, so we learned that Night of Autumn, very good. It's enchantment creature. And Masker Girl is a card to have our eye out on for the sideboard. Looks like we may, you know, like. Uh, Tectonic Giant, I think, goes in basically every red deck. I mean, yeah, big red, yes. Mono red aggro, yes. Any just red plus whatever aggro, sure. You know, like any mid range deck. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's just a really good card. I won't be doing that, Choco. Oops. I like building my own decks. Yeah, I mean, we just played our first match with Theros. I mean, I don't have any notables or anything right now. We're now playing the second match. Don't really need to draw more lands. You know, obviously we could use one more for Grey Merchant, but it's not like we need to draw more than that. So let's just get some lands out of the deck. Birth of Miletus. All right, so they go put a planes in their hand. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll get an 04 and then gain a couple life. Cool. Hmm. Then in the deck doesn't always work though. It doesn't always mean you draw spells. Sometimes you still just draw all lands. So I'll just I'll just get rid of there. I'll just basically I'll just trade a Yara for Borrower. I'll just trade those two. We have a backup of Yara. Um. Yeah, Hushbringer is definitely more valuable with the kind of decks like I'm playing right now, for sure. Yeah, so Hushbringer and Knight of Autumn are two cards that look more valuable with this set. I 
I wanted to test test the counter spell with the uh, Fenlurker first. I'm still gonna do that. All right, so I got four cards. We need to draw spells. Do you have castle? Castle's pretty good. That'll help us get more cards. Probably just crack this food. Get more life for castle. Hey, Waffle. Um, I mean, I'm I'm, ba I'm doing that next Dreadpool. We're playing a teamer ramp. I mean, it's basically Simic ramp, but same same principle. We're playing that for our next deck. I'm going to be sacking Fenlurker to draw a card. I just wanted to do that um, at the end of their turn. Crispy with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, Crispy. Thanks for getting that resub in. So you know, like they they exile a card, I draw a card. It's a good trade. Hopefully, Shepard resolves. Nice. So we can sack Fenlurker, draw a card, and exile the Fenlurker. Put a new Fenlurker into play. Trigger a Yara again. They exile a card. I still get to draw that card. Man, Shepard's pretty sweet. <clears throat> We're just kind of working our way towards uh, towards Citadel. Yeah, that's some value right there. Boo. Okay. Um, so this is another, right? Yeah. Another non-token. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sack this to make an egg. These both die. Shepard sees a Yara dying. That was weird how it said Nightmare Shepherd up there. But yeah, so now we, we make an Ayara. Gain some more life. Get Grey Merchant. Train for five. 
Um, I don't think I attack. I think I hold up the Yara acti activation. I'm drained for six, actually. I'm just these two cards in, which is drained for six. Yeah, so it's another, so it doesn't count itself, and then non-token. So our other creature was a token, so that one didn't wouldn't have counted. Maybe I, maybe I don't need Cauldron Familiar Witch's Oven. So this is gonna be a lot of damage. No, never mind. No, I haven't been disconnected yet. So, Citadel or Cat? Or we'll just keep drawing lands. We'll stop drawing lands eventually. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, so we're at, so they've gone through fourteen lands. There's eleven left. Yeah, the, <clears throat> the token because the the. Yes, it's not just a token. Um, so like it's it's different. It's not just like a, a token, as in like a like the human token doesn't have like a, a CMC or anything. This token specifically was a copy of a Yara, so it comes in as a copy of a Yara. So it has that CMC up at the top corner and everything. Like this token, yeah. So tokens usually have CMC zero CMC, but. Tokens that are copies are a little different. Because they are exactly that. Alright, get another land out of the deck. And now let's draw first. See what we get. I have 7, 8 mana, so I can play this, play this. So that's 2, 4, 6. So we can drain for 6. All right, so we can't kill them. So at least they're activating White Castle instead of Blue Castle. <clears throat> so that's good. Well, if they don't have a counter spell, we'll have lethal. It's a pretty nice setup too with like Witch's Oven sacking Grey Merchant, bringing it back with Shepherd in play anyway. Like, let's say my opponent has no interaction, we just have these cards right now. Um, we would be able to play this to drain for eight, sack a Grey Merchant to drain for another eight, sack the other Grey Merchant to drain for another eight. Like, we'd be able to drain for 24 damage here if we just have like this setup normally. Uh, pay 10. Nope, can't quite do that. Alright, so if I play Grey Merchant, I don't get to draw a card. I would rather draw a card. 
Well, that's pretty good. All right. So now we can bring in all these duresses, a Liliana, and a couple Deathless Knights to keep coming back. Um, what to cut? We'll cut the Murderous Riders, and, I don't know. This may be a cut Grey Merchant matchup. This Legion then can go. Like, trim two Grey Merchants. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna trim two gray merchants. Cause this this is about outlasting the opponent, you know, against control decks. This is weird. Need to take Gadwick. I know my responsibility. Trust me, I have a plan. Pretty good drawing, drawing, uh, pretty good at drawing lands. <laughs> Hello, Brazil. Welcome. Don't think they're going to have instant speed removal for the Cauldron Familiar. <clears throat> I think we're just good there. a bad idea okay so now they could have instant speed removal for cauldron familiar so i don't want to just bring back cauldron familiar and then they wrath and then it's dead and i have to worry about trying to um, deal with that. Well, good call.
am not making this up as I go. Down to nine. Ooh, castle's good. So they're just gonna bounce Shepard, aren't they? Nope. Okay. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I should have sacrificed the Cauldron Familiar at end step. Should have done that. Could have been. They could be at eight right now. Could be a big point of damage. But it looks like they've stabilized. That's more like it. We'll see. Trying to trying to get through this absorb is going to be really tough. All right, we got that absorb out of there. That's good news. Especially with the cards that we got. Yeah, we're gonna be Citadel in. What? Bouncing the oven. All right. Let's try this. Well, they want to bounce. I guess. Okay. If they bounce the food, then I have to bring back the cat, and then if they kill the cat, then I don't have a food to bring it back. Well, they're, they're representing having... I really want to draw land. I really, really want to draw land. No land. Because I wanted to play the oven. They, they counter it, and then I play Liliana. Dang. All right, so it looks like they're going to get this one. Citadel could maybe still save me if they don't have another counter spell, but that's pretty unlikely. All right, so they're playing Planar Cleansing. And then Trawler, Gadwick.
the Teferis. Here we go. <clears throat> ah, that land was one more card down. Hey, Baloney Pony, thank you. It's not a good combination for us. Like we're we are very dead. So I can't I can't get above one life right now because of this Midnight Reaper. The Shepherds do cost a lot of life with Citadel. So does the Deathless Knight. All they have to do is just be able to get rid of the shepherd, and obviously I'm dead. But all that needs, all they need is any blue spell, because of the Gadwick. Teferi would count. I guess they got four of those. Ashiok doesn't have a gender. All right, so. Does look like we need some murderous riders. Not sure if like this cauldron familiar witches oven stuff is really what we want to be doing in this deck, honestly. Just in general. How can I fit those three cards in? When a yar is gonna go. Gonna take out a familiar in an oven. Gonna try this. <clears throat> I'd rather play Murderous Rider than Noxious Grasp. We're playing one of those. Alright, let's draw a couple lands. We have been we have been really good at drawing lands with this deck. Yeah, if you if you have the time to play sealed, 
or if you enjoy sealed, it's it's a better use of jam gems than just opening packs. Okay, our worst possible draw. Okay. Get third land, please. Great. Yeah, it was just as poor as we could draw. Just six drops, like our other two six drops. Um, sealed and ranked draft are, are pretty similar. As far as prizes go. I, I would recommend just doing the sealed. I'd, the, you know, I think there is like the wait time and everything. That's probably not worth it. But it's also a personal preference if you really like... Um, if you really like draft more. Tectonic Giant. Man, that card is awesome. So if I try to Murderous Rider this thing, they just get two cards. <laughs> oh, that's so good. If I don't, if I play Shepherd, then they attack and they get two cards. And then I still have to Murderous Rider it and then they get two more cards. Man, that card's good. They only get. What do you mean they only get one card? Exile the top two cards. Oh, you choose one of them. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. You just get one of the two. Okay, never mind. Oh, I, I was thinking you got the two cards. But yeah, you get the one of them. Okay. Um. Right, right. Okay, so no land drop. <clears throat> hmm. No, Shepard's not blocking.
I guess it, yeah, so I guess I could be attacking the Shepherd. Hopefully these extra land drops, hopefully we get, or hopefully these extra card draws with the Midnight Reaper, we get that land drop. Make him just have just one card in hand. I don't know if this is lethal. Probably pretty close. Yeah. It's lethal. Because, yeah, it, it drains for nine, then you sack it to oven, then it comes back, you know, the, then you get the token and it sack, drains for nine again. So you're going to drain for 18. Shepherd is good. All right, so grasp and eat. Um, not sure. I'm gonna trim like two reapers. Trim this order of midnight. Um, probably the citadels. Not sure how many more legions I want to play. If we just go with this, just still one legions end. Liliana's not bad here though. I could I could play like a Liliana at the top end. Instead of like an Ayara. Maybe not. Well, <clears throat> it is still a 6 CMC card against a Gruul deck that's beating us down really fast. Yeah, I really like this Shepard. A good curve. If we find something to do on turn two, hopefully, like a Noxious Grasp, or a Legion's End. Exile the familiar and bring back a new familiar. So I guess, you know, obviously they're going to be Ember Cleaving. <clears throat> I wonder... I wonder if they have another one drop in hand. Sure hope not. Sure hope the answer to that question is no. Another 1-1. One, one. Just have to make the block. Um... Wait, if I just don't block, I add lethal? If I don't block, then I attack for four. 
Oh, yeah, you're right. I did. I did. I did. You're right. I forgot about the, the double gray merchant. I forgot. About, I didn't think about, like, the double, you know, sack the gray merchant, get another gray merchant. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. So, see, lesson learned. See, still new set, you know, playing new cards. We're, we're all learning. Uh, but, yeah. So, if I, if I don't block, um... You know, then I can I can sack the gray merchant and bring it back, and you know we would have had the four extra in the air. I'm so used to so used to having to block so much in this kind of matchup that having surprise lethal is not not something I'm used to. Hmm. So two four. I can do four damage right now. Maybe another Grey Merchant? No. So basically, do I want to activate ca uh, Castle cost me four life? Yeah, if you had Tesa, yeah, you'd make two tokens instead of one. No, playing a second Yara drains for two. Like they each, they each see the Yara enter, so they drain for two. That's a really good card. That was a really good card. Cavalier thorns. my phone. All right, down to three. <clears throat> Castle puts me down to one. Got to find a cauldron familiar. Witch's Oven would have only dealt one damage. All right, so lesson. So I learned about the Shepherd. I I would have had lethal there. Lesson learned. I kind of want to play like two duress instead of like the midnight reapers. You know, ember cleave, uh, and then like, you know, they had the. You know, I guess no, it's still just not going to be. They're just not going to be too many targets, but I kind of want to. All 
I yeah, I don't I don't really have any opinions right now, Viper, on it. Still learning the new cards and you know the interactions and everything like that. I don't really have opinions on like what's the best stuff to be doing right now. I I don't think you can really rule out anything from the, you know it's a brand new set. I wouldn't say that anything's not good. So basically, anything you ask about, I'll say it's it's good because until we see, it's not. Omen of the Dead. Yeah, I mean it does work well. I I wonder if Order of the Dead is better than Mid Order of Midnight. I'm not sure. I love drawing both the Midnight Reapers. But yeah, it's, it's one mana, instant, instant speed, raise dead, gray merchant, or two mana... Sorcery speed, raise that gray merchant, but then also have a 2-1 flyer that can attack. land Ugh. yeah 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 the lands come on you've got to be kidding me gotta be kidding me I'm just not going to have the mana to play all my cards.
Okay. Do some trades. Don't really want to trigger Midnight Reaper anymore. And this, so like, I'm not bringing back Calder Familiar yet. I think I actually just decline. Like, do I want a 1-1 one, one Midnight Reaper in play? I don't think so. No, it's probably silly to decline, right? I'm going to decline. Okay, Calder Familiar is good. <clears throat> Actually, we're not looking so bad. Another one mana card would be great. That's alright. Alright, so a Yara and a Familiar. Yeah, yep, play Theros, capital P, capital T is the uh, is the code for three free pack three free packs Be able to drain him out right away. I think it's just great merchant time. I can't even like murderous rider plus shepherd. That is pretty ridiculous, though. Pretty ridiculous life gain. I just gained 11 life, dealt 11 damage. Wait. 12. Gained 12 life, dealt 12 damage. That turn. Yeah. And they're, they're very dead. Yeah, so we could either play new Grey Merchant or... <clears throat> I mean, they're they're just dead here in play. Or we could do the Shepherd. Like, we could do a lot of stuff. Alright, so should have won all three of those. I, I had lethal the game that I lost. But we're learning. Yeah, uh, deck list is right here. Got another pack. Grave Breaker Lamia. That's also a cool card. So we're learning. Oh, oh, the deck doesn't load for you. You. you Sorry, noob. But yeah, this is the list that like we're trying out. Um, I'm not sure about the Deathless Knights. Like they, I'm kind of thinking no on the Deathless Knights. But you know, I'm, I'm liking you know we're trying stuff out and everything. But it's kind of make our curve still a little high. Hey, Hawkeye's here. Hey, Hawkeye. Hey, Hawkeye. Wanna come say hi? Hey, 
Okay, okay. No, I don't, I don't think Timrit is better than anything else in the deck. Keep. Okay, what do you think of the owl? Oh, you don't like the owl? I don't think I'm going to drop the Order of Midnight on turn two. I'll wait. But it's definitely possible that I need to, need to just be aggressive and play the flyer out. We'll kind of, you know, like, again, we're, we're all just kind of just testing stuff out. And so we'll be able to see. Um, yeah, so I think if we would have had the 2 2 flyer that we're attacking for two this turn. You know, maybe that would have just been better. Hmm. Probably. Probably, because then I'd have another two here. We'd have four. Yeah. I should have just had the Order of Midnight on turn two. <laughs> there you go, Maximus. Nice. I think I'm going to just exile the Cauldron Familiar, actually. Bring this token back. Get some more drains. No, this this isn't uh, this isn't really a a deck really built on sacrifice. Um, so we don't have Woe Strider. Our, our three mana slot is kind of filled with Murderous Rider, Midnight Reaper, and a Yara. All right, so that should be should be lethal. Oh. Okay. All right, bringing in the Noxious Grass. We're going to take out Legion's End. Ugh. I'm going to take out Order of Midnight. Maybe I'll take out Fenlurkers, actually. Maybe I take out Fenlurkers. They're not going to be able to attack. I don't know. They're they're good things to like have. Actually, no. Let's keep Fenlurker. All right. I could see taking out one Fenlurker or one Midnight Reaper or one Ayara. Nah, Ayara's pretty good. All right. One Fenlurker. <clears throat> 
My guy's doing better today than he did yesterday, but he's still not not doing great. Um, but no, he is doing a little bit better today. All right, we need to just draw spells. There we go. We need to just fill in this curve. We got our turn one and our turn five. Now let's fill it in. Yeah, eats eats pretty good. Good chance I should be playing the eat also, but I I feel like I'm not I'm not really winning with like damage as much, and we're winning with drain for the most part. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess we just let those fight. I'm not going to oven. We'll kill the Hydra. We're in a tough spot. In this land, we are all connected. Harness the elements. Now I wish I had those ovens. I guess maybe I shouldn't have played the other oven, the second one, because of Blast Zone. Boo. I'll just be able to block next turn anyway. So their worst card is Risen Reef in hand. Not a good sign for me. All right, they got this one. I don't think we're supposed to have almost double the lands of the ramp, the ramp deck. So if I play the E2 extinctions, what am I taking out now? I mean, I guess I just have to be more Fenlurkers. I 
I like Fenlicker. Fenlicker is the type of card that makes a lot of my other cards better. You know, it, it makes a Yara, Nightmare Shepherd, and Grey Merchant better. Yeah, we just cut a cat in an oven. They have not been too good. Like, they've been okay, but not like spectacular. Fine, we'll just trim in each one. So I'd rather have a cauldron familiar or an oven or this eat. Probably rather have this eat. We can do 18 damage by turn 5 without attacking with this deck. Sweet. Hawkeye's doing a little bit better as evidenced by him like up here and everything, but he's he's not doing great, but he's doing a little better. He's breathing better today. It's like his medicine's finally starting to help. So yeah, this is Exile Tar Creature, a Planeswalker, then Scry one or Surveil one. <clears throat> I got one of those in play, right? Yeah. I'll save this Grey Merchant for after the Citadel. So this next turn we play Citadel. And do a bunch. Hopefully. And then the turn after that we Grey Merchant. So hoping no more mass manipulation. I mean, they don't have the blue mana. Ran out of cast it anyway. All right, come on, spells. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good one, too. We'll take this one, too. All right, how do I want to do this? Sacrifice the cauldron familiar. Draw our card. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to exile it. Let's bring this back. Get a couple more drains. Oh, no! We drew another card because of Ayara. No, we drew that Grey Merchant. That was going to kill them. Darn. Um, New Midnight Reaper. Boom. Ayara Citadel. 
That was pretty sweet, Hawkeye. <laughs> Mini Night Reaper. That's pretty good. All right, looks like we got Gills of Ravnica pack to crack. Yeah, when the deck gets going, you get to do everything. <laughs> There's no cards you can't cast, basically. You just get to keep on playing everything you want. Ugh. All guys got me sick. Not really, it's just, you know, that time of year, cold weather. I don't, I don't think it was Hawkeye. Hello. Well, hopefully we can get that that third land. Nope. GG's. <clears throat> the last time we played Blue Eye Control, kept a two lander with Midnight Reaper and never drew a third land. Also. So yeah, I'd rather have a Yara counter than Midnight Reaper. I think Midnight Reaper is going to be the more valuable card against Control, so I threw out a Yara first. No castles yet, which is good. <clears throat> Played 10 games of Blue Eye Control. My experience so far is survive until Dream Trawler and then instantly win. Pretty good plan. No, it's our first deck to play. Cardboard. First, this is our first deck here. I'll, don't worry, I got this. Can we just get more land? Can't play my hand. Hey, that was uncalled for. Like I, I want to be double spelling, but we can't.
Do I bring back Cauldron Familiar? You can't bring back Shepard. Shepard doesn't trigger on itself. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, the, the text prompt for Shepard is is worded poorly. It does seem like I need a better cyborg plan against blue eye control. This is my second time playing against it. <clears throat> and looks like we're gonna lose again. Well at least we're gonna lose game one. Um Kinda feel like maybe we should just be playing the Underworld Dreams. Like that's a that's an option, just playing like four underworld dreams in the sideboard. We almost did that and switched out of it. I, mean, I don't know why I'm not attacking first. It should be. This game's pretty over, though. Why are you not sure that Dreams is playable? It's not It's not something that you'd want to play against everything, but I think a, a deck like Blue Eye Control, like basically this is where exactly where you could play it. I won't let you win. That's more like it. Stand by and watch. Let's try this. Paradise Druid has an animation now? No, I, I don't know what would happen if you have Shepard out and your missile land died. I would... <clears throat> yeah, I would assume a, a token for a land. That makes sense.
making this up as I go. I kind of feel like maybe Underworld Dreams is the way to go. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this Deathless Knight. This gets blocked by their Castle Ardenvale and everything. I don't. I don't know if this is that great of a plan. No. So I need to have a better sideboard against Blue Eye Control. My, my sideboard's not good. No, I don't I don't think Leyline of the Void's any good. I don't like that card. Could have like you could play one thought distortion instead of Liliana. It's better here. the The problem with thought distortion, of course, is Gadwick. You, you don't get to take Gadwick, and they get to refill their hand with Gadwick. The best thing to do is to wait till after they Gadwick and draw lots of cards and then Thought Distortion. Like, that's that's the best time for Thought Distortion, is after they Gadwick. Also just drawn really, really poorly in our times against Blue Eye Control. We've played four games and three of the games we have not been competitive. I mean Last game we got stuck on two lands. And this game we have like nothing to do. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, at least at least this game, yeah, we are dying fast. That is true. Oh, that's our tenth sub of the day. Oh, all right, I was I was behind. That's a sub goal. Towards our next twelve hour stream, we're almost there for a twelve hour stream now. We are almost there. Uh, 
Um, let's see, where are we at? That's number 18. So we're only two sub goals away from a 12 hour stream. So probably like this weekend. So yeah, so our, our sideboard against control <clears throat> is not any good, and our our deck um, With our deck, the, the Cauldron Familiar Witches Oven just actu actually really didn't look that that good during these games. There's times where it was okay. But maybe just more, you know, more interaction and more, um, like, two mana cards... more impactful stuff I'm not sure that's something to just kind of keep an eye out on um, but yeah that the the control sideboard was not was not good <clears throat> um, I don't have like a you know a five second fix of exactly what to do to change it I just say I, I don't want these deathless knights I don't want that card um, I have to think about it. I mean, I'd have to kind of like, you know, play some more, think about it, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I may be like agonizing remorse. Could just be like, maybe this is the better duress. I was thinking, you know, duress costs one mana, but maybe we should just be playing agonizing remorse because you can, you can take Gadwick, you could, uh, which is huge. You know, being able to take Gadwick is really important. Yeah, Wrinkle is awesome. I mean, I always liked Wrinkle. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want that intervention at all. I mean, Disfigure is good. Um. So yeah, I don't. I don't know if that's the answer, but um, yeah, I definitely need to change up our sideboard. It's. It was not. It was not good. Um, and yeah, maybe maybe not Cauldron Familiar Witches Oven. But Shepard was very impressive. Um, um, yeah, it could definitely have agonizing remorse in the main. Like if you if you get rid of familiar oven, you can play more things like that, like like remorse and, and more interaction and stuff like in your, your two mana slot. You know, you have like eight eight new slots that you can fill up that you don't really want to just throw in a bunch of high curve stuff. Um, but that could help you out without with other with like remorses and other removal spells and things like that. 
yeah, could have Knight of the Ebon Legion also. Yeah, there's, um, yeah, could could just go Knight of the Ebon Legion instead of one of these also. Yeah, I mean, Knight of the Ebon Legion is a great card. It's a great card. Yeah, I like I like Underworld Dreams. I do. I do like Underworld Dreams. So it's tough to think about. Um, yeah, it's tough to think about. Anyway, I'll just put these over here for now. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Boot, thank you so much. 41 awesome months. Anyway, we'll move on to our next deck. Um, you know, still learn, you know, still le learning stuff with the deck. You know, I've definitely made some mistakes during those games as we were learning things with the new cards and, uh, um, I think I'd probably want, I think I'd probably just want one thought distortion over one Liliana also. But yeah, I kind of I kind of want to see what happens if we move away from familiar witches oven. The thing about witches oven though is it it does like that was really cool with shepherd and gray merchant um with oven. Like that was really cool. Um Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's first day of the set. So yeah, we don't really have our a sideboard set too much yet. But anyway, there we go. That's a Yara Citadel. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, leave those comments. Let me know uh, what you're doing with Gray Merchant and everything like that. And uh, you know, feel free to to you know leave your deck list. Let, let me know how Theros is going for you. All right, but we're gonna be playing some Teamer Ramp up next. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. All right, Hawk, I have to hit the end video thing, but I can't see where it is. I just have to move this. All right, stop recording.